This Take 5 presentation provides specific information on servicing and troubleshooting the Source 110 electronic three-speed automatic washer with catalyst cleaning action. A complete service manual is also available for these units. Additional information not covered in this video presentation is provided in the service manual. For specific technical information on the model being serviced, refer to the tech sheet found in the console area of each unit. This automatic washer features a number of unique operational systems not found on previous Source 110 units. These systems include a new detergent dispensing system, a new fabric softener dispensing system, a new bleach dispensing system, and an industry-exclusive catalyst cleaning action cycle. All of these systems are connected to a series of solenoid controlled valves which operate in conjunction with the hot and cold fresh water valves. Beginning with the hot and cold inlet valves, incoming fresh water is sent through a solenoid controlled valve that sends fresh water directly to the tub. Attached to the fresh water valve outlet is a thermistor that senses the temperature of the water entering the tub. Information from the thermistor is fed directly into the automatic temperature control electronic control board to adjust the hot and cold water inlet valves for the correct wash and rinse temperatures. The outlet of the fresh water valve is also equipped with a back flow restrictor or duct bill to prevent wash water from being siphoned back into the water supply. A separate solenoid controlled valve sends fresh water to the detergent dispenser cup. This solenoid controlled valve sends fresh water to the fabric softener dispenser cup. This fourth solenoid controlled valve sends fresh water to the bleach dispensing system. This valve is also equipped with a backflow restrictor or duct bill to prevent bleach from being siphoned into the water supply system. Detergent is now dispensed into the tub premixed with fresh water. Fresh water is sent to the detergent dispenser cup by a separate inlet valve. Water flushes the detergent cup and mixes with the detergent to form a concentrated wash solution. The detergent and water mixture is flushed from the detergent cup sump and drops through the tub ring into the tub. When the wash cycle calls for bleach, the fresh water inlet valve and the bleach valve solenoids both open. Fresh water flows through the bleach dispensing hose, which uses a venturi to control water flow. As the fresh water passes the bleach dispenser outlet hose and venturi, a siphoning action causes the bleach in the dispenser to mix with the fresh water. The water and bleach mixture then enters the tub through a separate inlet in the tub ring. The fabric softener is dispensed into the tub as a mixture with fresh water. Fresh water is sent to the fabric softener dispenser cup by a separate inlet valve. The cup fills with fresh water from small inlet slits at the center of the cup. The cup fills and the fabric softener and water mixture flows over the top edge and enters the tub through a grated opening in the tub ring. Catalyst cleaning action can be selected as an option in any wash cycle. When catalyst cleaning action has been selected, the basket immediately begins to spin the dry clothes and fresh water enters through the detergent dispenser. A specially designed extension of the tub ring pushes the dry clothes downward. When a sufficient level of the water and detergent mixture has entered the tub, the recirculation pressure dome located on the right side of the feature panel causes the recirculation pressure switch to trip. The water and detergent mixture is sent through the diverter valve. The diverter valve sends the water and detergent mixture to the recirculation inlet in the tub ring where it is then sprayed onto the spinning clothes, saturating the load. This cycle will last from one to five minutes, depending on the wash cycle selected. Once the catalyst cleaning action has ended, the basket will stop spinning and the tub will fill with fresh water to the selected water level through the fresh water inlet valve, and then begin the selected wash cycle. Unique serviceable components are located in two main areas of the washer, inside the console area and inside the washer cabinet. 
Components found inside the console are the water level transducer, the keypad LED display and front panel assembly, the electronic control board, and the recirculation pressure switch. The transducer can be removed by first removing the hex head screw securing the transducer's mounting bracket to the console panel. To remove the electronic control board, first remove the hex head screw securing the electronic control board to the console mounting panel. Next, remove the five wiring harness connectors and the two ribbon cable connections from the control board. Squeeze the ends of the printed circuit board plastic mounting bracket at one end of the electronic control board. Lift the bracket from its slot in the console panel. Now repeat this procedure with the mounting bracket at the other end. The electronic control board is now free of the console panel. To remove the recirculation pressure switch, lift up on the tab at the bottom of the switch housing and turn the switch one quarter turn. Lift the switch away from the console panel. The keypad and LED display are part of the console mounting panel. If either of these items must be replaced, they must be ordered and replaced as an assembly. Components that can be accessed once the outer cabinet has been removed are the drain pump, the drive motor, the gear case, the water inlet valve assembly, the out of balance switch, the diverter valve, and the recirculation pressure dome. For the purposes of demonstration, certain protective coverings and components may have been removed. When replacing any serviceable components, the protective coverings must be replaced. To remove the outer cabinet, begin by removing the decorative end caps from the console and remove the two Phillips head screws securing the console to the washer top. Tip the console to the service position. Disconnect the lid switch plug from the connector on the washer top. Open up the access cover in the washer top. Disconnect the bleach dispenser venturi hoses, the detergent dispenser inlet hose, and the fabric softener dispenser inlet hose. Remove the two cabinet clips securing the cabinet to the feature panel. When removing the cabinet from the washer, be sure to pull the tub forward toward you. This will protect the new flexible plastic water splash shields surrounding the tub and basket. The water inlet valve assembly is attached to the left side of the feature panel. From the back of the feature panel, remove the two screws securing the water inlet valve assembly to the feature panel. The water inlet valve assembly will remain in place with the two screws removed until it is slid up and pulled away from the inside surface of the feature panel. The out of balance switch is attached to the feature panel below and to the right of the water inlet valve assembly. Remove the hex head screw securing the out of balance switch to the feature panel from the outside. Slide the switch to the right from inside the feature panel until the mounting bracket ears clear the key slots in the feature panel. Note that the plastic protective cover is permanently attached to the out of balance switch. The service replacement switch assembly will be supplied with the cover attached. Do not remove this cover. The diverter valve can be found where the recirculation system hose and drain hose intersect with the outlet hose from the drain pump. If the diverter valve is replaced, the protective plastic cover must be reinstalled. A number of components can be removed from underneath the washer top. They are the detergent dispenser cup, the bleach dispenser and fabric softener dispenser assembly, and the lid switch. The detergent dispenser is located on the right side of the washer top, underneath the washer lid, and can be accessed and removed by pressing in on the four tabs underneath the top and pushing the cup up. The bleach and fabric softener dispensers are one assembly located on the left side of the washer top underneath the washer lid and can be accessed and removed by pressing in on the four tabs from underneath the top and pushing the assembly up. The hidden lid switch is secured to the washer top by two screws and two plastic tabs. Remove the two screws and release the tabs from the washer top. The switch can be removed from beneath the washer top. All electrical components can be checked for proper operation through the self-diagnostic routines built into the electronic control board. 
In addition, a sales demonstration mode will operate the washer in dry agitation. To access the self-diagnostic routines in the electronic control board, press the following keypads in the following sequence. Agitation time, delay time, agitation time, delay time, within five seconds. The LED will display DT, indicating the control board is in the diagnostic test mode. Refer to the tech sheet for specific procedures to test electrical components. The console switches and LEDs can be tested once the electronic control board is in the diagnostic test mode. Begin by pressing the start keypad. All of the LEDs will glow. Now by pressing any of the keypad switches, a beep will be heard and the associated LED will turn off and on. Refer to the tech sheet for specific procedures to test the console switches and LEDs. The sales demonstration mode can be initiated by pressing the following keypads in the following sequence. Agitation time, delay time, agitation time, delay time, agitation time, within five seconds. The LED will display SD, indicating the control board is in the sales demonstration mode. The sales demonstration mode bypasses the lid switch so the agitation function can be seen with the lid open. Then by pressing the heavy duty keypad, the washer will agitate in high speed. By pressing either the regular or permanent press keypads, the washer will agitate in slow speed. By pressing the hand wash keypad, the washer will agitate in extra slow speed. By pressing the ultra hand wash keypad, the washer will agitate in extra slow speed and then pause in an intermittent sequence. This concludes the Take 5 presentation on servicing and troubleshooting the Source 110 electronic 3-speed automatic washer with catalyst cleaning action.